If you work with computers, you know that you need to essentially make sure to keep them cool. And so a lot of the times, everything that's built into the actual computer is to just cool it down. The fans, the type of uh, metal or uh, heat dissipation technology around the processor and the graphics card are there to keep the machine cool. And so the cooler you can keep it, the better. That's why data centers are heavily air conditioned and cooled as well as making sure they can remove the heat from the gear and pulled out. And so when I got my new laptop, I was thinking about what I should do as far as keeping it cool. And what I noticed was in the past, I could see laptops that weren't even made to do video editing or even gaming that didn't have dedicated graphics cards. I knew that they would get hot. I would put them on my lap and the laptops would just burn up. And so after that, once I got a nice laptop that had an NVIDIA 4070 graphics card, I realized that it gets pretty hot. It's actually sometimes even cooler because I guess they're focused on getting the uh, air moving in the bottom. So there's a lot of vents everywhere in the bottom and the back of the laptop. But essentially, the cooler it gets, the better performance you get and the longer that the machine will last. So then my mission was to figure out how can I make my machine cooler and hopefully allow it to last longer. So on Amazon, I was able to find a pretty sweet uh, GT500 from IETS and that unit has been pretty awesome. And so I'm gonna show you details about it and I will leave a link in the description for you for it, as well as another unit that might be a little cheaper if you're looking just to get something to cool your machine off and you don't need the uh, Cadillac level of protection. The only issues I have with it are that the power cord's a little short and I've been able to actually just leave it where I essentially I need the most power when I'm uh, either gaming or doing some video editing and it's been okay. It, and I guess it could be fixed easily with an extension cord. And then other than that, I wish there was some sort of automatic way that it would turn on and turn off when I added the laptop. It, probably that's asking for too much. Let's say if you forget to turn it on, it's just sitting there, you know, the computer's sending the heat to the tray and the tray isn't doing too much but essentially that's you know an issue probably with any uh, of the type of units that uh, you could get so this is the large fan that comes inside of the cooling tray and with instructions about the size of your laptop which we'll talk about in a second but if you have a 13 or 14 inch you can leave it the way it is but if not you have to modify this foam this is the short power cord here that uh, works but it could just be a little longer would be nice that's a usb cable that you can connect to the unit in case you want to have extra ports inside of the actual uh, unit to use it as a usb hub in a way which is pretty decent and now I'm going to start removing the extra foam on the inside so that it'll work because my laptop's a 16 inch uh, laptop. So we'll get this removed real quick. It kind of disconnects almost like uh, it was perforated or connected to the um, other foam. And here on the right side, you'll see the USB ports that you could use if you want the hub style. So you can get three extra ports for your machine. And then on the opposite side, you'll see a control that controls the speed of how fast the fan spins, as well as the power cord and the power button, which is decent. But like I mentioned, if it was possible, it would have been nice that it automatically started if the laptop activated uh, maybe a weight sensor on there would be nice. So here you'll see a baseline on my machine. My machine is essentially just on and doing nothing. You'll see that the actual CPU temperature is about 72 Celsius and the graphics card is about 55 Celsius. So not much happening. And then here you'll notice I'm actually about to start up a game in this game. It's going to be Fortnite because it's a game my kids love. And I do like to play with them whenever they're uh, enjoying their uh, game time. And so you'll see here that the usage kind of starts popping up and going up and down, at least for the CPU and the graphics card. And you'll notice here as it increases as we um, get further into starting the game.
and I'll speed this up so you can see that it ramps up quite a bit on the temperature. So now you'll start to notice we're getting in the upper 85 Celsius, 89 Celsius, even now 90 or plus from there on the CPU. And then the graphics card is um, bouncing around a little bit, but getting around uh, 82 to uh, maybe even 87. And so now what I'll do is I'll turn on the actual cooling pad and put the laptop on it and show you how it goes. And we went ahead and lowered it there, but that just gives you how much power it's doing. And the nice thing is it seals it into the cooling pad area, so you don't hear that. And so here, that's what it actually sounds like on really a high setting, just to kind of give you the idea of the max cooling that it can do. And here we're playing the game and we also have the actual tool collecting the data up on the screen on another screen and then um, recording my screen as well on another monitor as well to give you an idea of what's going on here. Those temperatures are already looking pretty awesome. So this is the gaming that was happening. Essentially, it was just walking around and checking out the, the map and utilizing the graphics card and the processor so that at least there'll be some usage to see how it goes. And then I have a nice clear screen sped up of the actual uh, results. You'll notice that the temperature is just way cooler and looking really good. Now, there was one more complaint that I forgot was that it can be loud, but essentially I do lower my setting down using the little uh, knob on the side and it helps quite a bit. And I didn't mention too that um, the tray or the cooling pad actually has some nice legs. If you just put the cooling pad on your lap, it works just fine and it's actually angled up so that the exhaust in the back can actually literally just have the heat leave no problem. But if you have it on a desk and you want to raise it up and get more airflow, you can actually use the legs which are pretty nice. I uh, hope this video helped. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks.